Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you are doing good and welcome to another video i am so excited to review the color os 6 for our redmi 5 and the ui of this uh, rom is just amazing i fell in love with this ui thanks to the developer jammy for porting this rom and here we have the color os version 3.0.0 and its android version is 9 and we will talk about the stability bugs issues and what's working uh, what is not working in this video so uh, without any further ado let's get started let's review the rom so first of all let me clear you that this rom is not fully stable and recommended for daily usage so i will uh, drop the installation video tomorrow in this room we have some bugs and issues uh, like you can only get the 50 percent brightness and uh, the night sight and blue light filter is also not working and uh, the fingerprint and its default face unlock is not working and after it the uh, every time you restart your device it will take uh, 7 to 10 minutes on to boot up your device so this is a main bug and uh, after uh, accept these bugs the performance and the overall uh, experience of this room is pretty much good its performance is uh, not so bad and it is working fine i have not tried any uh, game on this room so you can try it yourself now let's uh, check its app opening speed it is opening the apps quickly as you can see here and in the camera we have we don't have any stock camera uh, just install any custom camera or gcam from the link in the description It is working good and the recents of this room looks really amazing as you can see here the recents UI is uh, really cool of this room and the overall UI and its quick settings are also really amazing I just loved uh, the overall UI of this room Now let's dig into the settings and you can also control the quick uh, settings shortcuts flashlight of this room is working hotspot is working bluetooth is working mobile data is working wi-fi is working everything is working except the uh, bugs which i uh, tell you in the starting of this video and in the settings we have the search bar then we have the airplane mode wi-fi connectivity uh, options uh, the personal hotspot of this room is also working uh, then we have the notification and status bar uh, first of all we have the notification settings from here you can manage the notifications from all apps then you can enable or disable the battery percentage on status bar uh, then the network indicator which are shown on the left side notification and prompt modes then we have the notification settings alone notification bar in lock screen and, uh, and this type of settings turn on light for notifications then we have the display and brightness in the display first of all we have the brightness you can control the brightness level you can't go above the 50% uh, after it we have the auto brightness uh, uh, setting and then we have the color screen which is also not working then we have the phone sizes here we have a uh, lot of phone sizes and in the display size we have three types of display sizes uh, 
after it we have the home screen and lock screen uh, from here you can change the home screen mode to standard or app drawer mode i am using the drawer mode which looks uh, good then we have the lock screen settings uh, like wallpaper console you can switch between the wallpapers uh, on the lock screen after it you can set the themes here we have one theme pre-installed you can add more and in the wallpapers we have six wallpapers pre-installed and two wallpaper two live wallpapers pre-installed you can add more by clicking go after the wallpapers we have uh, sounds and vibration the sound quality of this room is also not good and here we have some uh, options like vibrate when ringing vibrate when silence and uh, some other vibration and sound settings like dial pad tune and lock screen tune vibration on touch and uh, after it we have the do not disturb mode which is a, a powerful do not disturb mode by realme then we have the fingerprint face and password uh, the fingerprint is not working the face unlock is also not working you can not enroll to the fingerprint or face unlock if you want to use the google face unlock then go to device and privacy and here we have the smart lock option where you can add your face into the trusted face and it is working fine but not so good like uh, custom rooms and UI rooms and after it we have the battery the battery performance of this room is also not good it is not so bad or not so good it is just the average here we have some power saving options After it we have the digital well-being which is the Google digital well-being and then we have languages and re region then we have the additional settings here we have storage, date and time, keyboard and input method, search, download management and user guide and this type of settings. After it we have the software update and about phone from the device name you can change your name of device and in the color OS version we have the v3.0.3 and in the android version we have the android pi then we have the details of ram and processor etc after it we have the account and sign up google and uh, app management app cloner and app split screen you can just uh, split apps by swiping three fingers from bottom to top and you can uh, take screenshot by swiping three fingers top to bottom you can also split the apps from recents and after it we have this system apps so that was the uh, review of color os 6 for our redmi 5 the room is not pretty stable but you can test it i will request the developer to make a full stable build of color os for our redmi 5 and otherwise the ui of color os is just amazing so hope you like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace